Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back today for another spa day video. It is currently, what time is it? It is 8.46 in the morning and I just feel like doing a mask this morning because, well just because, there's no reason for it. A lot of you guys have been asking for another tutorial and trust me, I have a few coming. As a matter of fact, one of the videos I'm filming after this video is going to be a tutorial. However, in today's video, we're going to be chit-chatting about a few different things just because there are a few topics I would like to touch on that really aren't in-depth stories. They're just a couple different things that have happened that I want to talk about. For today's video, we're going to go back to the avocado and oatmeal clay mask. You guys know how much I absolutely love this mask. I don't need to tell you guys anymore. I'm going to go ahead and apply it using my little brush here. I am anxiously awaiting the email that tells me that my e.l.f. order has shipped because I have so many new skincare products in this elf order that I'm so excited to try but I ordered the hydrating bubble mask that everyone has talked about I ordered a brush that is specifically made for masks which I'm very excited about as well but the one thing that I'm very interested in trying out and I actually ordered the high-end version of it I think it's called the melt cleanser I think it's called or something of that nature it's supposed to be a dupe for the Clinique take the day off balm I think it's called I ordered that balm again because I have used it in the past and I love it so much and and I read the reviews on the e.l.f. item and a lot of people said that if you have the Clinique item, you can test both of them at the same time and it's literally the same product. So I'm very excited to see if that's actually true. But anyways, I'm fairly certain you guys don't give a shit about my order coming in. <laughs> Let's just get straight to the tea, shall we? The first thing I want to talk about is Lindsay Hughes. Now, if you have no idea who Lindsay Hughes is, she is a content creator here on YouTube. And I watched her channel for a very long time because I thought she was just so adorable. She's so relatable but I genuinely enjoyed her content. I thought she was a very cool person to watch. But I was watching one of her favorites videos, actually this one. I haven't done a current favorites type video in so long and I have just been meaning to for the longest time. I love doing these videos and it's been it's been too long. The first thing is something that's kind of new to me, and this is by It Cosmetics, which is a brand that I love. First of all, I just have to show you guys this product because it's freaking beautiful. This is called the Skin Transforming Healthy Flush Blushing Bronzer. Super long name. So last night she uploads this video when I'm cooking dinner for my husband and I. And the first item she shows off is this palette that looks like it's not been used whatsoever. Now I'm talking about this because to me this is just one more example of why I just can't fucking trust anybody in the bigger community. And as much as they want to lie and say they don't get sponsored or they don't get paid for featuring these products, it's very obvious you do, especially when you're featuring a product that has literally not been used whatsoever but it's somehow one of your favorites. But like I said, it's so shady to me to feature these products that you have never used ever seemingly at least it looks that way that product was given to her through PR she got a package from it cosmetics and she actually showed it in one of her moving vlogs and that's another reason why I was just so sketched out is that I've seen her moving vlogs and I've seen the PR she gets and I know she got the package that included that palette in it and that was uploaded last week so the fact that she's featuring that palette in this video now red flag red flag and in the description box she says that she is not being sponsored but um i call bullshit on that i'm pretty sure she got something from that because why else would you feature a product you've never used very obviously never used money is not the only way these youtubers can get paid people fail to realize that there are other ways to pay these youtubers for advertising their products in their videos yes the video might not be paid for by the brand that's true but even still they're still gonna invite these youtubers to all these like lavish trips around the freaking world. They're still going to shower them with gifts and PR packages full of their brand new products not even released to the public yet. Alright, so the next topic involves guru gossip, which... Guys, if you've never heard of Guru Gossip, you must not have been here very long because I swear to God, Guru Gossip has been talked about on YouTube, especially in the beauty community, for as long as this community has been around. <laughs> Guru Gossip is a cesspool of vile, angry, bitter, very obviously jealous people who love to trash talk people. And when I say trash talk people, guys, I don't mean that as in like, oh my God, that person's so like stupid. Her videos are stupid. No, I mean like they are brutal over there. You may have heard of Guru Gossip because of the whole John Cookian versus Here for the Tea thing that happened. Because Here for the Tea gets all her information from this website, which is the reason why I just cannot get behind this girl, even though her content seems to be very popular. To me, if you're getting that information from such a disgusting source, I just can't support someone who does that. So, yeah. 
Anyways, their more recent target has been Casey Holmes, and there has been a bunch of shit going on. Now, I've done my research, and from what I've gathered, <laughs> these people are pissed off because Casey Holmes is married, essentially. I'll go a little bit further. They're pissed off because Casey and Davis, who is her fiance or husband now, they've been uploading these engagement videos about getting ready for the wedding and things like that. All the while, however, they've been legally married, and that is the issue these people are having with Casey and Davis, is that they're basically just married. Why the fuck is it your business what they do? They're both adults. You don't pay their bills for them. You're not buying their house for them. You're not paying their car payments, paying their internet payments, paying anything for them. So why is anything they do your business? I mean, I'm just saying, you know what I mean? <laughs> Things got much, much worse when Casey and Davis had put in a vlog that they were going to go to the lending closet, which I guess is a military thing, where if you're waiting for your stuff to be transported from your old home to your home on base, you can go there and pick up, like, pots, pans, plates, cups, utensils, whatever the case may be, to use until your items that are back home being transported to your new home get to your new home so you're not without things. However, when they put that on their vlog, people got wind of it and watched the vlog, obviously, and ran to grew gossip and absolutely brutally trashed both Davis and Casey for fucking no reason. This is a service that's open to everybody, I'm assuming, who lives on base. However, they have no issue with anyone else doing it, but because it's Casey Holmes, they want to have a dick in their ass about it. Like, I don't understand that. <laughs> so here are a couple of the comments on a guru gossip thread about Casey and this whole situation. They talk about borrowing from the lending closet at about 6.32 in her first day in our new home vlog. I'm sorry, but Dependaho, Dependaho is a nickname they have for Casey, really pissed me off with this one. A couple bowls, yada yada. You mean to tell me they couldn't have spared a couple of bucks to buy a couple of bowls? Never heard of Dollar Tree or something like that? Okay, bitch, shake my head. Right, but Princess Casey can spend a thousand dollars to get her hoo-ha waxed, not to mention the thousands she spends on her sausage lips. Don't forget the lavish trips and gifts she gives to Frankenstein. Frankenstein is Davis's nickname, by the way, for these trashy-ass people. But she is using the lending closet. Dependaho indeed. Somebody had made a comment about Davis hopefully being more mature once he's deployed, and this is a response to that. I don't think either of them will mature. Casey will stay the shallow, vapid idiot she is because to grow you need experience. Outside shopping and screwing Davis, I don't think she has any outside activity in her life. Davis, well, it can go either way, you see. Either he will get straightened out while he's serving and manage to become a responsible guy, or he will become one of those entitled pieces of shit who think the sun shines from their butthole. At least Casey so far only thinks that. I lolled seeing her trot around Watertown and a farm in full hair and makeup. She looks fucking ridiculous. And in response to that, someone said, I died. She's an embarrassment. She seriously looks like a dude wearing makeup, to be honest. And then in response to that, someone said, oh god, I keep seeing an image of a stocky scarecrow with fish lips and a mask moving around town. Ugh. So yeah, those are just a few examples of the shit people talk on that fucking website. And it makes me laugh if you think about it because these are people who literally spend their entire day on this website. And I say that with full confidence because this is not just a small thread with like 50 or more comments. This thread is 40 pages long with hundreds of comments from the same people ripping this girl to shreds for literally no reason outside of fucking jealousy. And what made me realize that it was purely jealousy that was fueling these comments was the fact that a few people had mentioned that they were also army wives living on base. So the way I see it is, you're seeing all this nasty shit about her, talking shit about her, making fun of the way she looks, because you're sitting at home basically doing nothing, wasting your days on this fucking trash website, talking shit about somebody who is ten times more successful than you are, who is probably more than half your age at that, because you have nothing more to do with your life than just sit at home. Jealousy to that extent must fucking suck. I mean, I have never seen someone that mad and jealous about someone's lifestyle in my life. I honestly can't believe that these people waste their time going on the stupid fucking website to trash these people to filth for no reason behind their backs nonetheless. If you're gonna talk shit, at least have the balls to say it to them on Twitter or to their face or whatever. I mean, come on, let's be real here. So while they're on Guru Gossip talking shit about Casey, she has her face in Sephora selling thousands and thousands and thousands of her own palettes. She's on HSN right now actually filming. She's doing good, but your salty ass is at home doing nothing except talking shit about her on Guru Gossip. Your life must suck. Anyways, guys, those are the two topics I want to touch on here for today's video. I'm going to rinse my face and moisturize. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm just applying my H2O Plus Beauty Hydrating Treatment. My face feels so 
so good right now guys i have a few things going on this weekend the first thing is i applied for the job over here at my local bank and i'm very excited to say i got the job so i leave sunday to go to watertown because i have a few days of training over there so the next few videos you're gonna see as far as like this weekend's videos are gonna be in my hotel room so yeah i've always wanted to work in like an office setting i love office work i love typing i love writing i love everything about it so i'm very excited for this job that's what's going on but anyways i'm gonna get off here get this uploaded to my computer get it edited and then you're gonna see me next in my tutorial for some more topics and some more tea subscribe if you're not already and i will see you guys in the next video i love you guys so so much bye